It's taken us a long time to get this episode ready, because we've rewritten it like a dozen times. This is an incredible milestone, and one we literally could not have achieved without you, so ultimately we decided that we wanted to honor that fact. We started Extra Credits because we believed that games could be better if we talked to each other about what better meant. Not just about measuring graphics and gameplay, but about discussing the fundamental design, the principles, the artistry, all the little pieces that come together to make games such a special experience. Since then, we've expanded into history, trying to take all the things we've learned making games and using them to educate. Trying to prove that it's not that people don't want to learn or that certain subjects are just inherently boring, but rather that it's important to think about how we teach it. And when we decided to try making extra history a regular thing on the channel, we had some YouTube experts warn us that doing so would be a big mistake, to which we said, you don't know this audience. I'll be honest, making a YouTube show is tough. The many all-nighters, the panic when something goes wrong, it wears you down over time. And we have been doing this for a good long time. But you have kept us going. Not only by watching and supporting us, but by writing to us, sending encouragement, or telling us how many cool things you've gone on to do. More than your views and your clicks, your words have kept us going. Words like some of these. After two years of work, we are finally ready to ship our first game, Get Wrecked. None of us were game designers, and your videos saved our game multiple times. Or, it took years of self-improvement, but May last year, I managed to get myself a face-to-face -face interview. And then in July, I found myself in Seattle working at Wargaming as an assistant producer. Or, I wish I were a game designer or a legislator who could implement some of these ideas and improvements that you guys pose on a major scale. While this is not the case, I am a teacher who can introduce new methods of interactive education to my students. We get so many wonderful messages like these from you folks. I saw your second Games You Might Not Have Tried episode many years ago. Thanks to that episode, I found Monster Hunter. The third game helped me overcome my depression while immigrating and being unable to work or easily find new friends in a new country. Making armor sets and learning all of the tells of the monsters in combat gave me something to focus on. The fourth game inspired me to make local friends and start a local group, and helped me cope with the loss of my dog. Monster Hunter continues to help me find and make friendships even while battling depression. Or, back in high school, I used to hate history. This series, however, has taught me so much. It's really taught me to appreciate history at a whole new level. Or, we met in Stuttgart in 2015, and you gave us a lot of good advice for our game, Mergimals. It's about breeding little creatures. Well, now we finally made it to the App Store and are featured in over a hundred countries in the category New Games We Love. Or this one. I'm a student in middle school, and after many conversations, I was able to convince a handful of teachers to use your videos to help teach their subjects. One even asked me to give a lesson to the class about the Punic Wars. Or, I don't really know anybody in the game industry or the alt scene, so I turned to extra credits to fill that gap. Your emphasis on inclusiveness was what I needed to feel like a part of the field, and now I've completed my own game, Little Bug. Or, I wanted to say thanks for showing me the cool parts of history I never knew about, and for expanding the ways I see a game and the ways I see the world. And most importantly, thanks for being my friend. And of course, questions like, Hi, I wanted to say thank you for what your show is doing for me. Because of you guys, I am a nine-year-old crafting video games. Thanks for that. And for something unrelated, do you like butterscotch or cinnamon? The answer to which, Alex, is that most of us prefer cinnamon, a few of us prefer butterscotch, and James can't answer that without equivocating. I cannot express how much it has meant to receive emails like these, or to meet some of you in person and hear this sort of thing at cons and panels and talks. That encouragement has helped to keep this train running. So we just wanted to return all of that kindness and love you've shown us over the years. Because really, far more important than anything we do here is you spreading these ideas and talking to people and having these conversations at the dinner table or over coffee with friends, at conventions, in universities, over Discord, and with those you love. So, thank you. None of this could have happened without you. If Extra Credits has any sort of legacy, it is your successes. Thanks for being so great. See you next episode.